Lisa is a tennis player. Lisa's first serve has a 60% chance of landing in. If her serve does not land in, Lisa attempts a second serve, which has a 99% chance of landing in. Calculate the probability that, on a given point, at least one of Lisa's serves lands in. So this question captures something that happens quite a bit in tennis, and that is that in the, the first serve, tennis players tend to be a little riskier with their shots, because they want to try and, uh, try and get a harder shot in, a more difficult shot for their opponent to, to, uh, to, to hit back. But on their second shot, uh, on their second serve, they only get two serves. So if they miss the second serve that lands out, then they lose the point. And so they tend to be quite safer on their second serve, which means that their second serve generally has a higher probability of going in than their first serve. Okay, so we're asked to calculate the probability that Lisa's, one of Lisa's serves lands in. And pretty much that's, that's the same as saying the probability that at least, so at least one serve in. And there, this captures two separate events. One event is that it goes in on the first serve, and the second one is that it goes in on the second serve. So it goes out on the first serve and then in on the second serve. So let's draw a probability dot tree diagram here. So uh, at, at the very first uh, stage we have two different outcomes. It could either go in, a serve could go in, or it could go out. And it goes in with a 60% chance, 60% probability, and out with 40% probability. Okay, what happens if it goes in? Well, if it goes in, the point continues and she doesn't serve anymore, so there are no branches coming out of in. This is just the final outcome. What about if it goes out? Well, if it goes out, there are actually two more possibilities here. There are two more outcomes. It could go out and then it could go in on her second serve, or it could go out and then it could go out on her second serve. So given that it, it goes out, that she serves it out on her first serve, we're told that there's a 99% chance that, that it will land in on the second serve. So the probability here will be 99% for this branch, and for this branch it will be 1%. Okay, so this is interesting because this is the first probability tree diagram that we've seen that is unbalanced. That is, not every outcome has an equal number of branches associated with it. This outcome here, which we'll denote, denote as out in, has two branches, out and then in. This one, which is out, out, has two, out and then out. But this one just has one, this is in. So this is unbalanced. And this is, this is perfectly fine to have a probability tree diagram that is unbalanced, in many occasions it can be the only way that you can properly model an event such as this one. So we're asked here that the probability that at least one serve goes in is the probability of in plus the probability of out and then in. So the probability of in here, well that's simply 60%. What about the probability of out and then in? So the probability of out and then in, well that's equal to 40% times 99%. So 40% times 99%. Let's put these into fractional form, that might be easier. So this is 40 over 100 times 99 over 100. Well, 40 over 100 is just 2 fifths. If we divide by 20, that's the common factor. So we've got 2 fifths times 99 over 100. We've got a common factor of 2 here. So this is just equal to 1 fifth times 99 over 50. If we times that through, we get 99 over 250. Okay, what about the probability of, of in? Well, let's convert this to a fraction. This is 60 over 100. And if we simplify that down, that's the same as saying 3 over 5. So the probability of in plus the probability of out in is 3 over 5 plus 99 over 250. So 3 over 5, that's the same as saying 150 over 250, if we times both of these by 50. So here we're going to get 150 over 250 plus 99 over 250. So the probability that at least one serve goes in is going to be 249 over 250. So it's very probable that at least one of her serves will land in. 
Now this is one way to answer this question, however there's also another way, and in some ways this, this other way is shorter, and that is whenever you see at least one, it's a really good idea to think, ah, at least one, perhaps we can consider the complement. So here we could say the, the probability of at least one, at least one serve in, we could say what's the complement of at least one serve in? Well the complement of one serve in is that it goes out both times, so that would be out, out. So we could say that the probability of at least one serving is 1 minus the probability that we've got out and then out. So the probability of out, out, let's quickly calculate that. That's 40% times 1%, so 40% times 1%. Another way of saying that is 40 over 100 times 1 over 100. We said before 40 over 100 is 2 fifths. So this is 2 fifths times 1 over 100. Uh, there's a common factor of, of 2 here, so I could write this as 1 fifth times 1 over 50. So this is 1 over 250. So the probability of out out is 1 over 250. So here we'd say the probability of at least one serving is 1 minus 1 over 250. We can rewrite this 1 as 250 over 250. We wanted to get a common denominator. 1 over 250, which sure enough equals 249 over 250, which is the same answer as we got above. And in many ways, looking, looking at this particular outcome and taking the complement, that's the easier way to solve this question. Either way, unbalanced tree diagrams are often a good way of solving questions.